Tabletop CP, where today we head back to the American War of Independence for another game, Sharp Practice. Alright, so we're back. The American War of Independence. It's been a long time. Uh, this used to be the only period that we ever gamed, as it was the only models we ever had, but uh, we had a lot of fun playing it, we had a lot of great games, and a lot of our characters made quite a name for themselves, and uh, a lot of them are back, we've also got some new ones to show, so uh, let's go ahead and dive right into the briefing. Tonight's mission is going to be a custom mission that I made this week, and as usual I have not play tested this. It should work out fine, but uh, it may not, so there's always that. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started. The Church at Johnson's Landing. The village of Johnson's Landing is, known, is a known hotbed of rebel activity, and the church in Johnson's Landing is at the center of that activity. Colonel Gage, overall commander of British forces in the area, dispatches a force to send a message to the locals that this will not be tolerated. Objective. The British are trying to destroy the church. The Continentals must defend it. To destroy the church, the British must contact the church and set it on fire with a task roll of 12. If the British destroy the church, they win a major victory. The British can also attempt to burn down the other buildings, the house and the barn, in the same way. If they burn down one of these two, yeah, they get a minor victory. If they burn down two, it's just a regular victory. And none destroyed is a defeat. Continental deployment. So the church is a deployment point. So the entire church, not from the center of the church, but any part of the church, uh, the normal deployment distances uh, apply, but that entire church is a deployment point. Uh, any secondary deployment points will be placed anywhere on the continental table edge, which is that table edge over there. The continentals may also start with one group of skirmish troops in the church itself. British deployment. So the British are going to be picking a road, so either that road or that road to be their primary deployment point. And the Continentals will have to deploy all their deployment points first, so the attacking British will have some knowledge of where they may appear. Uh, the Continental Road, for purposes which I'll talk about in a second, will be the other road that the British do not pick. And any other deployment points that the British have will be deployed along their edge anywhere, which is this edge here. I did, want, I did add one special rule to this uh, scenario, and that is the first player to play four flags can call on a group of militia cavalry to appear to help them. So these cavalry are going to be using the stats of the loyalist cavalry uh, from the British side. So they're militia, they're cavalry, they have prominent leader, which we know is not good for force morale. And they also have Tally Ho, and they're led by a level one leader, Justin Foster. So uh, whoever decides to call them up will have to spend four flags in one turn. Yeah, it's, it could be a risk. As we know, prominent leaders not good for force morale and militia are not that good to start with. So some scouting militia cavalry could become a uh, issue force morale wise, or they could come in and really turn the tide. So we'll see. How, we'll have to see how it goes and see if anyone brings them in. But should be interesting. Now we'll take a quick look at the terrain. So first of all, we got our Grassy Hill gaming mat sent to us by our awesome channel sponsor, Geek Villain, a producer of the finest gaming mats. Check them out if you're looking for a gaming mat. Other than that, uh, fences are a prominent feature on this board. I've used pretty much every bit of fence that I have. And the fences are going to be soft cover and low obstacles. And other than that, we got some hills. Again, they're kind of hard to see. We have one here. We have one here. We have one here. And then we have one there. All the hills have woods on them. So I would say that hills block line of sight from infantry looking across it, but since there's already hills or uh, already woods on it, I should say, uh, they're already blocking cover. So the only benefit hills would have in this game would be to be able to fire over your own guys. And the way we do that is if the enemy is further away from the unit you're firing over, you can fire over them. If the enemy is, if your friendly unit is closer to the enemy, you can't. I think I said that right. Other now we got an orchard, orchard rules, six inch visibility, four inch for the woods. Uh, we also have a uh, rock wall around the church. That's going to be hard cover, and then all the buildings are going to be soft cover, and any patch of grass will be soft cover. 
to forces that are stationary in it. And that is it for the briefing and the terrain. Now we're going to look at the forces. So I'm trying a new format here. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it. Let me know what you guys think. It's just a way for me to uh, practice with my editor and try to get better with it. So uh, here we go. Let me know what you think. for the forces or one that I'm just messing with again nothing uh, permanent there if you like it let me know if not I'll just go back to the old way so uh, let's go ahead and get started with the game all right so Andres here uh, he's gonna be the Continentals I'm gonna take control of the British and I have chosen that road to be my primary deployment point and Andres is the church as I said earlier and as far as support uh, I had six we're giving Andre three since I'm attacking so it's usually gonna be a little bit harder so we're going to give Andre half of what I have in his support as an exploring officer. And he put his secondary exploring deployment point chickens. there. But it also gives him an extra three inch uh, deployment distance from uh, every jump off point. And then that was all he could buy. I bought a uh, fixed secondary deployment point, which I put here in this grass. So if I put my cannon, I'll have good lines of fire there. Um, I bought a holy man, a musician, and a physic. So that is the support. Now, force morale wise, I got a 10, and Andre's got an 11. And before we begin, I forgot I was going to mention this in the intro, but uh, Tabletop CP has been nominated for the Caesar Award for favorite historical wargaming channel. <laughs> Woohoo! So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's an honor for us uh, to make it through 200 some odd channels and get to the top five so yeah pretty awesome so thanks to everyone who voted for us and if you want to vote for us to, to make it to the next step then i'll put the link in the description of this video all right andre is going to be the bag man tonight and we're going to use the infamy cards because our chips are super ugly i'm thinking that's not me that's me red card travis is starting off with a red card you're out of here do you succeed i mean you <laughs> yes i do <laughs> thank you for noticing <laughs> blue, blue three that's you so that's uh that's captain olivier decalone captain olivier and his conscripted line infantry have come in there they can't present first fire only so he has presented blue leader five that is sergeant nathan tudor Tudor has come in over there on Andre's far left flank. He has that exploring officer, so that is why he's able to deploy so far from that point. An extra three inches, which gives him 15. Next card. Blue flag. Blue flag. All right. Two more blue flags. Oh, God. Red leader five. Red five. That's uh, Lieutenant da Lieutenant Downs. I brought Downs in over here on my left flank to counter Tudor. In the open, but fairly safe unless the rifles appear. Next card. Simon Anderson. So that's my cannon. So I could easily deploy. I'm going to wait for Anderson. <laughs> I want to. I want to see where you put more stuff before I bring him. More stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm defending and I've got the first two units on the board. You We're should be stumped. happy. Okay. Red four. Lieutenant Dan, or Lieutenant Dan, I should say. 
Lieutenant Dan has come in from my road over here. Ah, uh, Tiffin. That's okay. a bummer. So I got Lieutenant Dan and Lieutenant Downs in. Andre's got uh, Captain DeCalone and uh, Tudor. And that's it. So next turn. Next turn. Go ahead, Andre. Blue five. Who is that? Oh, it's Tudor again. Okay. All right, Tudor's just going to stay where he is. Red leader four. That's Lieutenant Dan again. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan has got a 14 inch move up to there, so he's approaching that area. Should give Andre something to think about. Red flag. Ooh, my number two man. Yep. That's Your number two man. That's Cox. My number one man. man. Montrose. Montrose. All right, so Captain Olivier has come in with his militia, along with Sergeant Sander Tyson. Sander's up in the front with this group, and Olivier is behind here. Next card. Okay. Ah, uh, Tiffin. Okay, so we both have one flag that we can do something with. But and you've already done something with them. All I could do is yeah. something with them, which and they're already probably where they want to be. And the only thing I do I could do is I could do something with Downs. Yep. The Downs has moved his men up into these woods along the edge, countering Tudor. Next turn. Red flag. That's two flags. Ah. Red Later, three. son of Magua. Uh oh. Some of Magua has deployed off of that jump off point. I said mass troops 12 inch distance, so 12 inches from that deployment point. Here they are. Next card. Next card. Uh, let's see, there you go. That's Tyson. So you can do something with these boys now. All right, so uh, Sergeant Sander has moved his men over there. They can see him, but they can't fire yet. Unfortunately, ah, oh, it's my big man, Elsden. Hmm. Elsden and Cox have come in column there. It's really the only place they can come in. Or the only way they could come in from that one, I should say. Next card. That's uh, Downs again. Downs is going to hold position on the hill. Ah, oh, there's your big man, Montrose. Montrose has moved his men over there uh, behind Tyson. Flag. Red flag. Uh -oh. That's not good. Ah, that's a, I'm not sure if that's good or not. <laughs> uh, well, I got two. You got one. Or no, you have two cards. You have two flags as well, don't you? Yeah. So you get to go first. Andre first moved Tudor out of the grass. Not a very good move, but he's there now. And then I had Downs move up along the inside of this fence. He got a good move of 12. And then I'm going to have Magua fire at uh, Olivier and his men. I'm going to have 14 shots because Magua is a uh, level 2. Here we go, Magua. He's needing 6 because he has no first fire or anything. Two hits, just like Andre predicted. But you are in hard cover. So, one on each, so... Yep. One dead. <laughs> two dead, two dead. Remember I said I could fire Check and maybe my leader. Get lucky? It's not no. the leader. It's not Olivier. Just two guys down. Yeah. And I said oh, I How bad could it be? <laughs> All right, I killed two uh, Continental soldiers, and then he's going to reload, and that'll do it for the post Tiffin activities. One percent. <laughs> you you choked. So Andre has. I forgot that he hadn't activated them yet. I guess, and then he uh, wheeled them back. So now Magua is in arc. Next turn. Blue five. That's Jeff Smith. That's your other group of light infantry. Correction, it was Tudor, not Smith. 1d6 back into the cover <laughs> and we'll take a pop at you. All right. Tudor's men only moved another inch. So they moved, what, five inches on 4d6? So, so we'll far. fire and reload. Fire it down. Uh, I think you're needing fours because you're light infantry and first fire. So yeah, fours. Wow. Okay. So four, four hits. hits. 
<laughs> no, hits on down. No, they don't. I got one. That's not enough. It's not downs. But you did kill a guy. Yeah. It was something. It was something. All right. Back to it. And... Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan is going to fire at Tyson's group, the separated group out there in the front. Um, and then he's going to... Well, I'm going to move a D6. And if I get far enough, I'll reload. If not, I'll have to move again. But first things first, uh, am I within 12 of you? Uh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> You're uh, okay. within eight of me. So a D4s, I'm hitting on uh, anything but with Lieutenant Dan, right? Lieutenant Dan. Uh, two butts. So four hits. Four hits. Four hits on Lieutenant, or not Lieutenant Dan, the other guy. The other so guy. dead in a shock. Check your leader. Nope. Okay. Let's move. Three. Lieutenant Dan has moved. Took his three and moved and reloaded. He did get outside Tyson's group. Blue three. Blue that's three. Calhoun. So that's your uh, militia boy. So you could take a, fire, a shot at Magua. So we can present and fire, huh? Yeah, you get uh, present and first fire bonus. So you'd be hitting on fours from from that range. All right, Olivier. Come on, Alicia this. Bali. Oh, I man. see a bunch of threes. Yeah, even fours. Only six hits. But yeah. if I roll anything six. like Andre did last time, it could be four. Six, six dead days. Indians will work. That's uh, a dead Indian and two shock. But it cannot be son of Magua. All right, next card. And you can reload. Uh, oh, present. Can, that's right, you are. Fire, presented. I'm unloaded. Okay. Blue leader six. Oh, what rifles, finally. Wadsworth has come out 15 from the church right there. And he's going to fire at Lieutenant Dan, needing threes. These skirmishers. Uh, Minus three hits. Five hits. Okay, so he did get plus one shot because he has good shots. Good shot, boys. Good shot. It's pretty good. Okay, then. Yeah, we got to do some damage. Soft cover. Now. Mm, uh, two shock. Something. Yeah, it's not good enough, though. Against skirmishers, it's not bad. Especially yeah. level one skirmisher. Could have been better. Actually, yeah. He's, he is going to have difficulty dealing with that, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Because he's going to have to start a flag or something. Or... Yeah. All right. Yeah, having a level one leader with two shock is a big deal. All right, go ahead. Flag him up. Oh. The big man. Ooh. Solomon Montrose. So. First thing Andre's going to do, he's going to have Sander Tyson. First thing that Montrose is going to order Tyson to move up. And he's only going to get four shots with Lieutenant Dan. So that's three hits. Oh, you got one of them. Dead, and uh, is that four a shock? Yeah, another shock. Sweet. So, you and care then, who? Uh, no. And then, now Montrose has to do something. Okay, so Montrose is wound up uh, in front of Sander over there. Okay. Next card. Um. Red leader two. <laughs> Hey, that's my sergeant. Yeah, who put really that on top? Cox, I don't know. <laughs> we know who it was, though. Red Leader 3. Son of Magua. Magua has moved up a very small amount to there. And seven of the guys can get within range of a Wadsworth. But I need sixes. I got one. You got one. Nothing. Ooh, I'll and I am unloaded. Mogul is now unloaded. So next, uh, next card. Very small puff of smoke. Well, Only took a shot. It was a very small shot, Travis. <laughs> Leader four. four. Jeff Smith. Oh. That's your other skirmishers, finally. Lieutenant Smith has come out. He's going to fire at Lieutenant Dan. Ah! Need anything but first fire, light infantry, Five hits. close range. 
five hits on Lieutenant Lieutenant Dan. Come on, soft cover. Oh, I lost a man. And the shock. See if it's Lieutenant Dan. No. So I'm up to what? Three four. or four? Four shock. Oh man, I got these my holy man on them. Damn it. Well, four shock four. and five guys. Alright. Oh, is it four shock? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the other way around. <laughs> I was going to say, if there's five guys and four <laughs> Five shock and four back. guys. Next card. Oh, okay. red flag. Blue flag. So, that could be a sharp practice. It could. Lieutenant Jeff Smith, he's going to use the two cards to do sharp practice again at Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan. Uh, two, two hits two. and lots of twos. All right. I can't get any more shock here, boys. Just deads. Ah, uh, two more shock. Oh, uh, six. So I'm definitely going to have to bring my holy man in. So he's going to fall back. He's got more shock than guys, right? Yep. So I have to do a bad thing for that. That's a minus one. Down to nine. Down to nine. And then you're uh, unloaded. I'm unloaded. Holy man, we need you. <laughs> Dan is falling back one inch. I need the red one. Red one. Ah, yes. So that, the holy man. That was a problem. The holy man's going to appear and remove one shock from Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Go holy As man. This is a, custom, cust, a customary removal. Come on, give me a high number, holy man. <laughs> I told you, man. God damn it. Shit. Every time. Every single time I do oh, Holy Man's that could have been an epic save. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. So is that it for his activation? No, or? he still gets to do his thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Captain Hilsden has just moved up. Uh, he got an extra uh, dice because he was on the road in column, so he's moved up 12 inches, which is pretty good. Next card. Uh, uh, give me some infant or some cavalry. Ah. Uh, 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 that is, uh, who is that? Anderson, my cannon. Oh. Lieutenant Anderson has come in over here. I debated bring, bring him in over there, but I got to focus on the church. Can't forget the objective. So I'm going to start pounding the uh, guys in front of that church with cannonballs. So Anderson and his boys are going to present and fire. And I'll be needing threes. So all but Not three. Too bad. So seven hits. Reducing cover. Can you split them up? I guess you can. So it's uh, three and four. Okay. Uh, nothing. <laughs> wow. And then a oh, shock. Point wow. of shock. After all oh that, man. One point of shock. A point of shock from the cannon. Uh, How lucky man. can you get? Pretty lucky. I, I would say. Next, I would and say. I'll be a double unloaded. So next card. I'm hoping to do something. Man. Oh boy. Three uh -oh. flags. Tiffin. Come on, give me a red flag. Tiffin. <laughs> Two. That's your sergeant, Sander Tyson. Yeah, he's the guy. Well, no, he already went, right? He was ordered by. Yeah, but Montrose. he can pull a shock. He could pull a shock. Definitely could do that. Another blue oh, flag. There's my fourth flag. <laughs> There's two cards left. Is it going to be um, Tiffin or Red Flag? Well, actually, I'm going to. Uh, I need to do my sharp practice now, okay. unless because actually everybody's activated. I think. I think you're all you're all done now. Yeah. So who do I want to reload? Go ahead and reload the sharp uh, practice on Wadsworth. Actually, I think uh, has Lieutenant Dan hasn't gone yet, has he? Uh, oh, he did. That's yeah, right. he was, was the very first the one. He was the, the he was the first one. <laughs> That's right. That's he took he his shot there. and tried to hide behind the barn. <laughs> so if I get a four, if I get four flags, ah, oh, oh, man, whew, damn. Oh, that was close. The next one was oh, your last flag, man. Damn. Uh, next turn, I did have downs after the Tiffin run. He did make it back here. I wanted to put pressure on them, but now I need to start going for an objective, at least an objective here. So, I'm going to, well, I guess we still can. We still got room. We still got room here. All right. For now. Six, who is that, Red? Uh, that. Wadsworth. And he's the one who just sharp practiced. Wadsworth. 
After much debate, he's going to fire at Lieutenant Dan. Uh, what do you need? In, uh, Threes? Fours. Fours. Yeah, you don't get any bonuses. Damn. Th four hits. Come on, all ones and twos. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you how to do it, and Travis. Threes. I, I showed you how to do it. Oh, two more shock and another dead. Uh, it's not Lieutenant Dan, though. But I will fall back again. And you lost a guy. Uh, oh man, one more and they're going to break. Yeah, so they're going to fall back, what, uh, three inches? And then I have to take a bad thing happens. Another minus one. Oh, well, Lieutenant Dan, you're costing me here. So, are they still facing me? Yeah, yeah, it was an involuntary withdrawal. So. Okay. Alrighty. Next card. And they're unloaded again. Uh, Don't worry about it right now. Next card. Uh, that's the sergeant. Yep, there he is. He's in the back there. Tyson. Tyson has run into the barn. There's a couple windows on the side. You got two windows. There's even a loophole there. I guess you could make the argument you could fire one more rifle out of there. I'm, I'm not going to argue that. I, I try and I try for too many loopholes uh, <laughs> to true. actually do a legitimate loophole loophole. That's true. When you finally have a chance to do a legit loophole, you won't do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Red five. Uh, Ellen down. So Lieutenant Downs is going to start trying to light that building on fire. So I need a 12. You didn't yeah. get Yeah, well, he's just getting the stuff out of his pockets of her now. So he's got a four. We'll keep that in mind. Next so card. that, shouldn't we mark that? Yeah, we'll write it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> three, who is that? Three, Decalone. that's... Decalone. That's your guys here. Wonders had Olivier break the formation. So he sent himself and one group out. And these guys are going to stay in guard of the church. Hey, red flag. That's one. And there's one. Tiffin! Well, I want to see Justin Foster come out. I need my cavalry. Uh-oh. The big man. Montrose has wheeled. 1d6. He's gotten an arc. Did not get Lieutenant Dan in the arc, but he did get these guys. And they're in column. First fire in normal range. So what? Do I say anything but? Uh, uh, they don't get a present. So they're going to have uh, fours. So fours. Threes for yeah, first twos, fire. Anything but. And yeah, anything but. What, where's the other plus one column? Oh, column. Okay. One, two, three butts. Three butts. Out so of that's the, fifteen. Oh man. So three. I got three groups there. The back group we're gonna give soft cover. Uh, dead and a shock. Okay. The middle. The other two groups will say are just in the open. Two points of shock. Oh, you're uh, getting lucky. Getting some hellacious rolls. Let's see how this here. one goes. Uh, two dead and two shock. So that's not good. And that's on the big man's group. It is. Ooh, not him, not him though. All right. Maybe someday I'll get some cards come out. <laughs> That'd be very nice. Or maybe we'll just pull the tiff in here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> hey, there's uh, a red card. Son of Magua. Sweet. Son of Magua has uh, pulled his last shock and he's moved out all of, uh, an extra d6 of movement, so he's going to take another shock on the way. Yeah, he's right up there. In We're the up thick here. of it now. We're up here. All right. Oh, all right. man. Um, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Is that three flags in a row or just two? Um, two, because Son of Magua just went. Okay. Um, but. Do I want a sharp practice? Montrose had his men use sharp practice, so they are going to be reloaded. Blue leader five, Nathan Tudor. Speaking of the devil, we were just talking about him. He hadn't done anything for a while. Tudor has moved way the hell up. He got a great move this time. He's all the way up there at the corner of that uh, field. That's Sergeant Here Downs. Two pull a shot. Man. I mean, not Sergeant Down, Sergeant Cox. Actually, shouldn't he be back with... Sergeant Cox is going to pull a shock. That group. I'm going to save my flags. I should have used all three of them to pull three shock. Leader that would have been a smart thing four. to do. Four. That is... Leader four. Jeff Smith. Yep. Those guys. Light infantry. So Jeff Smith is going to reload. 
He's going to fire and see if he can break Lieutenant Dan. Needing I think fours? Threes. 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 Because you're within 12, I believe. Yep. So, yeah, your light infantry. That's uh, three. three hits. No, four hits. Four hits. Four hits. Come on, Dan. <laughs> Ones, twos, and threes only. You can do it. <laughs> no, no. Ooh. Two shocks. So he's definitely going to break. So 2d6 plus 6 away from Smith. Oh, man. He might be off the board. Damn. That might be a lost leader. What was that? So it was a 10. Okay. Well, actually, the angle's pretty... You got a long ways oh, okay. to go. Well, I still um, got to roll a bad thing. Bad thing group breaks. Three. Minus one. Down to seven. All righty. Oh, man. That's not good. All right, next card. You're going to have to stabilize here card soon. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Three flags. Okay. Do you sharp practice? Do you go for the cavalry? Or do I activate my big man and then hope his card comes out and activate him twice? <laughs> uh, you need four for that. Right. Oh, you mean what am I going to do now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. I see what you're saying. Uh, keep going, although I'm going to regret it. Six. Simon Anderson. He's going to reload. Okay. There oh! is the fourth flag. Decisions, decisions. Now the decision is, do I activate Elsden? And hope I get a one and activate him again, or do I bring in Foster? Cavalry has arrived. Justin Foster. Hey, no, no. This the isn't loyalist. a Western game. <laughs> you don't get to call in the cavalry. I did. Like, just because you're getting your ass kicked. So he's scouting cavalry. It's an 18-inch deployment from my deployment zone, which is the road. So he's up here. He's at the canter. And we're playing if you're at the... I think it's even in the rules. We usually play if you're at the canter. You can just go right over these. It's in the rules. Fences. Because I really balked at that the first time I was hiding behind uh, a fence and you oh, just and charged <laughs> me. And... Yeah, I'm jumping the fence. <laughs> what do you mean you're jumping the fence? <laughs> I'm hiding behind the fence. Uh, there's a, blue another blue flag. Oh, uh, the big yes. man. Hell's dead. I am now uh, snapped in. I got everyone online with uh, two commands. He's level three. So that's going to leave me one command to have them present and fire. Sadly, I'm going to be hitting everything. Those guys, the guys in the barn, both of these. Everything's in my arc. <laughs> uh, I'll just say we're hitting on... Uh, we're in close range for the closest targets. So fours. Anything but. It's anything but. Jesus. <laughs> this is one. nice stuck in there. One butt. Two, three. Three butts. So 20 hits. Four per group. First group on where to start over there on the end. So two shock. A dead and dead a shock. And two shock. Oh, dead and two shock. Nice. Guys in the barn. A dead and a two shock. shock. Soft cover. Soft cover? Yep. Fours is a shock, huh? Uh, soft cover, yeah. Okay. Wadsworth, uh, point of shock. He's got guys on that side of the fence. And then finally Smith, two dead. And two shot. No, because he's in hard cover because he's oh. behind the fence. Damn. But still two dead. So check him and see if it could be Smith. Man, I need something. You're still at 11 on your force morale. Down to seven. Yeah, but I just lost as many guys uh, <laughs> in that one shot there. All of a volley, so we'll go ahead and okay. Sort everything so out. this is Elson and his men have done seven shock and four kills. That's spreading out between five groups and various levels of cover, so that's pretty good. Imagine if that was all on one group. <laughs> oh wait, we haven't had a Tiffin yet. No, we should. This whole deck. Okay. Red. What is that? Red four. Red uh, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> well, I think Lieutenant Dan is going to do what any sensible man would do. And run gonna, off the board and uh, he's lower run, your force morale. I think I'm going to run him over here just to get so that when they run off the board, they don't. Actually, you can, you can move him off the board, can't you? Because you got your jump off point right here. I think that's infamy. Oh, or is it game? Game? we can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan is going to move, so maybe he can move 3d6. Okay, that's at 8 inches. Lieutenant Dan is cowering behind the tree over there now. No, the guys stay there. They don't go with him. 
He's moving off by himself. Oh, oh. Well, no, I could take him with me, huh? I didn't. Yeah, I was thinking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Dan. You're not a coward. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, you boys stay here. I'll be over behind that tree if you need me. I think I see a dog over there. Oh, oh, shit. Dog. Okay, is this my blue card or the uh, Tiffin? It's the Tiffin. And you have a card left, but I think every single thing is activated. It had to because <laughs> fly that, that was the last card. Last card. All right. Next turn. That was a very long turn. So in the uh, little recap here, Mog was up here unloaded. These guys are now split up. Unloaded. <laughs> both both unloaded. Tudor's guarding there. He's not going to let uh, Downs come around. Downs is back here. He's up to four on the building. He's asking anyone if they have the lighter on him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the Bic? What's a Bic, sir? <laughs> Foster's come in on my four flags. So he's up here now. And I got these guys in line. They fired. They fired. Yeah, it's just they a, fired. There's a huge mess going on over here. There's a lot of smoke out there. Really, it's coming down now. If Elsden and Cox can keep keep this line to keep Actually, them pinned down. So, there. do we want to try and regroup oh, yeah. over here? Or? Yeah, let's put the cards over here now. That's fine. All right. Moving the card location. Blue five. That is uh, Tudor. Those guys. Yeah. Tudor has used all of his moves. He's now in the yard of this house. I'm going to put a stop to the Hey, house. what are you doing back there? <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Ooh, that uh, is oh, your horse. Oh, that's Foster. Foster is going to, he's at the canter, he's going to the gallop. And I gotta, I'm going to try to make it to Jeff Smith. So I pretty much just can't roll, if I roll a three or higher, I make it on any of these dice. Yep. Yeah, we made it. Foster is going to charge the unloaded Jeff Smith. Foster has made it. And surprisingly at the end, we're both exactly the same dice. <laughs> but he is light infantry, he's a level higher than me. He's aggressive, let's give him two dice. And I'm only getting eight for being an impact, or a scouting cavalry at the gallop. And then I only have the leader. There's nothing else. I have no tally ho or anything like that. So it's just a straight up fight. It's a real gamble here. A little, literally a straight up fight. Yeah. Here we go. Can I take down Jeff Smith? <laughs> I got one. Yeah, this ain't gonna happen. What am I thinking? You got three. three. So I lost by two. So I killed one. So check your leader. I lost by three. Or I lost three. No. Neither is the leader. No leaders. So I did lose. This is how it looks in the end. I did lose by two. I was thrown back. I might have not gone back far enough. So let's go nine back. But I took a shock from him on the attack. I took two more for losing. And I didn't lose a leader. So I'm back here now with three shock. And Andre's still standing there with Smith. But down to four guys. But uh, real close to half strength. Real close, sorry. Or I am at half strength. Real close now to if I attack dropping again, below. <laughs> if I attack again, I might win. Woohoo! Um, blue flag. Four. Jeff that Smith. is... That is Jeff Smith. Who just was attacked by the cavalry. Smith has pulled back. He's now back there. He's two dice to move and then one, one is free action to turn around. Blue flag. Blue flag. Two blue um, flags. You could reload a sharp practice with uh, Wadsworth. That would let him shoot when his card comes out. He's going to have Montrose sharp practice. He's already loaded. So he could fire, be unloaded, and if Montrose's card comes out again, he could fire and reload again. And you're within 12, right? Yep. So, just fours. Two, four, six, seven. Exactly average. Okay. Do I have anyone in cover? Looks like this this group here should be in cover. Okay. So I will put the uh, extra one. I'll put the uh, extra one on them. Okay. Nothing. It worked. <laughs> and then the middle group with <laughs> with Elton. Oh, I lost a guy. 
And then the other last group there. Oh man, another guy down and a shock on the end. So um, check your leaders. Or uh, do, you don't have no. to on that, do you? No, because you're not skirmishers. They have to have two kills or less right. or more for that. Only a skirmish group, or like uh, rangers or light infantry, firing at a leader and getting them on equal to or less than. Ooh, red five, I believe. Yep. Red five. That's Alan Downs. I'm going to have to just keep going. Uh, come on, guys, get that stuff piled up against the side of the building there. <laughs> get your zip Did you ever out. put the four on it from last yes. time? Yes. Oh. The building is on fire. Yeah, Damn. put the four. So it's four on it. It is definitely. It's a flame. flame. It's a flame. Good job, Downs. He's lit the fire. House is burning. We're sending a message. Burning down the house. <laughs> Red flag. Oh. Ah, the big man. Big man. I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'm going to have no choice but to just. Now that I think about it, Andre, it's a good thing I got driven back because I would have fired right into these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe losing that combat was a. Turned out to be a blessing in disguise. <laughs> well, you'd have had to have uh, wheeled up a little bit to change your arc to save them. Then I wouldn't have been able to shoot. Uh, yeah, okay, there is that. So I'm a level two. I'll pull two shock, and then I'm going to have them just fire an uncontrolled volley. We're already um, in normal range. Level two is pulling a shock and then getting an three. order, right? Oh, you said you're a level two. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm a level three, but I'm gonna pull two shock and then use his last order to activate. Here we go, Elston. Eden Force with 22 shots. <laughs> Again, splitting them up between a bunch of guys. Oh. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve oh. hits. Among four groups is three each. Didn't I have like 20-something hits last time? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was also a first fire, so it was hitting on anything, but... Yeah. Starting on the end. Starting at the beginning. Two shot. Man. That's going to be a problem. A dead that's two shot. going to be a bigger problem. Guys in the barn. Tyson. One shot. Actually, these guys are still in... I should be spreading to them too. Mm. So, so we should be splitting the smiths. We'll just yeah. let them split those last three. So we'll do two here. Dead. And one here. Nothing. So a dead in the rangers. I got a couple of kills and a bunch of shock. So Montrose's uh, formation has eight shock on it for what it's worth. He can still fire when the blue one comes out. Uh, but, but I can withstand it, I think, a lot better with a level three and three groups than you can with two. Yep. That's your sergeant. That's Sander. Uh, oh. he's, he's the guy in the building, yeah? In the building. So he can't pull shock. Oh, he can pull shock on his own, but he's only a level one. He's or, got the two windows. Or I can. Four shots onto that group on the end there. Two hits. In the open. Nothing. Beautiful. And I'm assuming you're going to reload. Yeah. Well, uh, technically you would have been down a shot because you had three shock, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we take we it. can re-roll it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Cox. Cox. I'm going to How many shock do I have? One on each. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to waste a flag. Just have him pull a shock on his own group. That's cool. Okay. And a second flag. Mm, hold on, hold on. Done sharp practice on Elston's formation. Oh, I can present and fire next time. Oh, oh thank God I did. Woohoo! That means I can't well fire done. my cannon. Damn. Damn, you Tempest Fugit Tiffin. <laughs> Here we go. Next turn. Come on, red flag. Oh. oh, end of chapter. That means everyone reloads. I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, lots of stuff. Okay, we'll see what happens. So, no shock pulling. I believe that's it for me. But I remember now why I wanted Lieutenant Dan uh, to not be with his guys. It was because now I have to roll a uh, bad thing for him routing off the table because any groups that were broken are gone. But that's what happens when you do the right thing and you stick with your boys. Well, I wasn't really thinking about chapter ending. I was more thinking about him routing again from getting <laughs> shot and then running off. Yeah. I didn't think the chapter was going to end. 
But at the end of the chapter, you have to roll a bad thing if he's going to ride off the table, Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan. Ooh, fives are good. Status one, uh, minus two. So I'm down to five all of a sudden. Ooh. Good job, Lieutenant Dan, or Lieutenant Dan. Good job, Andre. Well, Thanks for talking me into putting them with those guys. That's, uh, hey, that look amazing. at the bright side. You lost nine <laughs> shock. Yeah, and then no shock comes off. This building collapses, but there's no one inside, so not a big deal. And then everyone reloaded. So next turn. Start of next chapter. Chapter two. Blue Please. four, Jeff Smith. That's these guys? The recently reloaded Jeff Smith. Yeah, those guys. Jeff Smith is going to fire at Foster. Uh, what are you needing? Your long range? You're probably, are you within 12? No, I don't think so. So be hitting on sixes, be hitting on fives. So fives. So one picture. hit. One hit. In the open though. Nothing. Ooh. Yeah, we don't care. All right. We don't care. Well, then uh, let's uh, move on to a red flag. Yes. And your that's red Dan. four. That's Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> he's we'll, running uh, off to the next town where the nurses are. He's uh, he's he's done with this battle for the day. He knows what's uh, what. Calling it a day. Tudor. Uh, oh, he's right here. These guys. Ooh. Here we go. Tudor at Mogwa. Seven shots. Even fours? Fives if you're over 12. I'm over 12. So fives. Bummer. <laughs> Two? Two instead of five. Uh, point of shock. And he's up to two. Two. Okay. I can handle that. I'm a level two. Not too and about it. Fire we'll reload. duck back around the uh, fence here. Okay. Fire, reload, move back. Um, yeah, Shooter here we go. Over there behind the fence. Ooh. Ah, the big man. Well, that could put a damper on my... Now the sharp practice is going to come into play, because I'm going to present and fire. Holston is... He, first of all, he ordered Foster to get the hell out of there. So I am in the trees, but sadly my I am facing the wrong direction. So if Andre chooses to shoot at me there, he can get double shock. So... You still had a command left, didn't you? Uh, yeah, so I ordered them. I pulled it. I already pulled it. Oh, okay. I pulled one shock, and then he's going to have these guys present and fire another volley straight ahead. This time, however, meeting trees because I presented. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, I missed ten of those. Holy crap. Gee, only twelve hits? Uh, meeting trees? Yeah, that's not very good. <laughs> Yeah, well, out of five guys. Personally, I mean. twelve hits. Actually, needing threes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, needing fours. That would have been good. Uh, needing threes, not so much. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five extras. The extras are going to go on the two skirmish machine. We'll so. start on the back end this time. Fuck. Oh, I mean, darn. Two, <laughs> uh, that was hard. Jeff Smith. Wadsworth. <laughs> Three shock on Wadsworth. Wow. That's harsh. Man. Sander Tyson. In Good the thing I put those extra dice on the uh, hard, uh, well protected dudes. Okay. Oh, man. Sanders group. <laughs> wow, this is a hell of a volley. I'm going down. Uh, two shock. Wow, uh, holy crap, so just, two dead, three shock, a dead, a dead and a shock, and two shock. That literally just took me out. Wow. Good job, Elsden and the boys. Point. It was not Smith that got hit, but he did lose two guys, and yeah, it's looking pretty ugly. It's, got four shock on Wadsworth, 11 total shock over on Montrose's guys, and Sanders' guys got three shock. We're unloaded. So Holston comes through. Oh, we need something He's special. Red line. Oh, my cannon. Anderson. That was not the special thing <laughs> I needed. I guess Anderson will just fire straight ahead at these guys. I'll present and fire since we're looted. Simon Anderson. Need force. And uh, this is going into Olivier's group. One, two, three, four hits. Wow. No cover. I got off again. No cover. 
in the open. Two shock. Lucky again. Could have been better. So Anderson's gotten two shots, and I think he's done three shock. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not Anderson's Ooh. night. Next card. Blue flag. Red five. Downs. Ah, these guys. So they've lit the fire. Now what the hell are they going to do? Harp downs. He's just going to stay there. He can't do anything else. And uh, blue leader one. That's Montrose. Who's got a lot of shock on him. <laughs> 11 shots. Uh, he pulled the shock. And then he's going to do 11 shots into Elston's formation. He pulls. Two, four, six. Two each. Two each is on. All right, over on Cox is it? And that's uh, two here. shark. Yep. Elston's guys, nothing. And then the last group on the far right, a dead and a sh uh, yeah, dead and a shock. So these guys lost a the guy. They took a shock. So that could have been worse. I mean, that was fairly average, but I got to do way better than average here. Yeah, like my last volley was yeah, uh, uh, way above average. Oh, shit. So you're going to get to go first because you have a higher force morale. Well, he's still at 11. I haven't dropped Andre one force morale point yet. <laughs> yeah, but it still feels like my ass is kind of getting kicked here. Okay, so place. he's activated, so I've got... Wadsworth could do something. Wadsworth, four shots into Foster's Cavalry from the rear. Oh, ah! man, four hits. Ah, shit. Uh, soft cover from behind. <laughs> <laughs> soft cover in the behind. Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Two epic rolls. Your epic roll uh, definitely trumped mine. So what do I have? I got a flag left. So what haven't I done yet? What uh, haven't I done? I should say one, five, four... One, five, four. So what does that leave me? Two and three? Magua has uh, moved over with my flag after the tiffin. So he's uh, standing there in the open with tons of dudes around. It's probably a... It's a risk. I have to hope he gets his card first. He's got no shock and he's got a ton of dudes. Yeah, it's... he's a prominent level two leader. So if you take them down, that's probably it for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is true too. Two rolls on the level two morale table. But... I don't really have that much firepower. I can line up on him either. So uh, you got a whole thing of rangers. You got these guys. You got. I them. got rangers with four shots. <laughs> I'm still worried. <laughs> Simon Anderson. He's gonna reload. Uh, downs again. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can do something this time. Downs has come around. He's going to fire at Olivier oh. and reload. Eight and fives. Two hits. Soft cover. One shock. So he's up to three shock. Next card. Oh, the big man. Montrose. Oh. With all the shock. But he is loaded, right? So you, uh, you are uncontrolled, though. But I guess you're not going to be going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the real question is, do you pull shock before you fire, or... Activate. No, I'm going to activate and try and Back shoot the horse guys. in the butt again. All right, so Sander Tyson in the barn is going to be activated by Montrose. He's going to fire four shots. Hit Foster. Okay. Uh, needing sixes. So one hit. Sixes. Yeah, long range musket. Man. Oh, oh. you got one. Woohoo. Probably should have gotten a shock, would have been better. Um, actually, I mean, it's the same. No, not really. <laughs> what, oh, because it's double shot double from shot, behind. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but you did kill one of the, one of the, um, yeah, so there's that. Oh, and I guess I should do the rest of my firing, oh, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you don't have to do it. <laughs> okay, we'll skip. We're in control of body. 11 shots, even four. Not one, very good. One, two, three, four. But they're all going to be kills. We're going to take out the big man here. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess you want the two on the big man? Um, sure. Two points of shock. Uh, how many did you get? Four? Yeah. And then one on Cox, point of shock, and one on the last dudes, nothing. 
So how many shock do I have now? Three, three, one. Okay. Still not completely horrible yet. No. Not <laughs> not nearly good enough. Not the level three. Ooh. Blue flag. That Andre has sharp practice with the two flags to reload Wadsworth. I <laughs> want to get two flags in a row. Uh, that's my cavalry. Okay, we're gonna just move on the other side of the hill to get out of line of sight. <laughs> Foster and his boys are over here now, out of line of sight behind that hill. Safe. Two flags. Two flags. In a row. That's your sergeant, Sander Tyson. So he's bomb. already activated. He can pull a shock. A shock? He's only a level one. He's just the sergeant. But I've got a flag. You could use I'll that. I'll pull two full of shock. Okay. Tyson will pull two shock off the guys in the barn. Blue six, Wadsworth. Hey, he just reloaded the sharp practice. He can shoot now with his four shots. Wadsworth, four shots. Straight ahead, needing fives. One hit. Woohoo! I'll put him on these guys. Ah, another dead. Starting to pile up. Starting to pile up slowly, but we've been doing a good job of keeping them out. Ah, Fugit. Ah, damn you. You got two ah, flags. Magua, son of Magua. And who else do I have? Pretty much everyone. I've uh, used a seven, a five, and a six. Yeah, I still got Magua. Well, Dan's down. Your main line. Oh, the main man? He didn't go yet? No. That was last turn? Yep. I thought he just fired a volley this turn. Is that last turn? Yep. Interesting. Here we go. Son of Magua. He's going to charge Olivier's group. I ran three, three di three d six. I'm going to take a shock on the way in, but I do have tomahawks, so I'm going to roll eleven tomahawks. Every five is a shock. One, two, three, four, five shock. Pretty good. And you're already at three, so you're going to be up to eight shock. Wow. Damn. So I'm not going to just route him off the table, so he's at 4 when everything's added up, that's all a shock, and I'm at 12. So 12 against 4. If I can't win this, then Son of Magua is going to be retired. He's going back <laughs> to the tribe. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hey, I can tie. Uh, damn, I had 1, 6. I didn't tie. I got 1, 6. So check our leaders. No, thank God. No, man, no leader's been hit yet. So you lost four guys and took, and a, I shock. took a shock. So they're gonna break. And then uh, I lost one guy. So I and lost took a shock. four guys? Yep. And I lost one guy and took a shock. So that's the first flag after the tip, and the next one's gonna be Elsden. Olivier has been uh, Thrown back, he lost by three, fell back 12, and then he broke with all the shock. So, roll a bad thing for group breaks. Uh, minus one. And I'm down to 10? Damn, you dropped one, finally. My level two leader routes. <laughs> That's gotta be another minus one. Down to nine. <laughs> yeah, just one. <minus> one. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Any questions? Meanwhile, so they're just, I guess they're going to stay there. And then we're going to have uh, Elston's guys are going to fire and reload and fire and control volley. Okay, Elston, uh, what did I say? 14, 14 shots. 14 shots, needing four straight ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. Still split up between tons of different guys. Two here. Point shot. And being down to two guys, that could be something eventually. Um, Wadsworth. Wadsworth. Two points. Two shot. points of shock. Ooh, He's. They're going to be at six. Okay. They're getting close. They're not going to fall back yet. So you, I've been totally screwing this up. I've been subtracting uh, four shots for the four shock. Oh, it's only two. Two shots. No, you've been doing it right. No, I have been doing it right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Okay. Uh, in the barn. Oh man. Tyson, another dead in a shock. I've been rolling tonight. And a Nothing. two and a shock. point of shock. Still 
still Elston's guys are, even though they're lost seven men total, they're... Uh, Man, I, I lose two more guys and I won't get my full four shots out of there. <laughs> no, darn. And that'll do it for this turn. Here we go. Next turn, Andre's at nine. I'm at five. So he's just going to get me down in the fours and I start losing stuff. Yeah, this is uh, going to be interesting here. I need to get Mogwa out before anyone else. Cox. Uh, Pull a shock. Yep. Okay, down to Get two. your men in order. Blue five is Tudor. These guys. Oh boy, that's not good for Mogwa. Uh, well, we'll see. Tudor at Mogwa. Need threes. Oh, man, I'll Six. One. Six hits, uh, Mogwa. You hardly knew ye. <laughs> uh, in the open. Uh, it's for the four shock. That's not deads and. The not open, in this huh? game. No. But I am up to six shock now. That's not good. I did take out Olivier though. Yep. Of course, we only rolled the uh, <laughs> minus two on all that. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty wild. The leader two routing off the table. Oh, that was insane that I didn't lose four force morale on that. that. Yeah. yeah. That's bogus, man. Okay, so leader that's Olivier. three. That's Just routed off the table. Well, we'll go put him <laughs> over with Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> They're at the bar. Drinking. Leader Son of Magua. Ah. Okay. Son of Magua. Thankfully, he got his card out before that lone group did. That, what, well, they don't even have a card. They would have to come out. Remember, you would have oh, had to use a card right. after the Tiffin to activate them. Oh, so man. So they had no chance. <laughs> now without and I hear I was just, that was my, my main strategy here is, oh, they got a flank shot ah. on Son of Magua. Olivier would have had to activate them. Yeah. But no. he's gone. But, uh, so yeah, Son so basically I had to pull a flag and then pull the Tiffin, and then Son of Magua would have been toast. I think with two flags you could activate them. Because mm. with well, two flags you can do an interrupt with a group. So you, anyway. Anyway, so Magua's coming in. He's going to see if he can take these guys out. I'm going to get all these Tomahawks first. One, two, three, four shock on you. I got six. And then we'll count them up. Magua is going to be at 11 dice when all the shock is taken into account and everything. Uh, he is aggressive. We forgot last time that Olivier is a conscript. So the last time when uh, Magua attacked Olivier, he should have got more dice. Hardly mattered, but... No, it wouldn't matter because I would have just driven you off. I wouldn't have taken any kills at all. <laughs> I think all I needed one more, right? Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, I should have had you uh, quadrupled up. But anyway, here comes some tomahawks to the face. Actually... One, two, two. Holy crap, we're rolling bad tonight. Okay, just, so just I can us. beat you by two here. Uh, you got two. So you killed two of me and gave me two shock. So I'm up to eight. I only gave you one shock. Let's check the leaders. Oh, it's uh, it's not good. <laughs> That's my prominent leader. Oh, and it's mine too. Or, oh, I don't have a leader. He's knocked <laughs> out. This could brought me down. The prominent leader wounded, level two leader wounded. Oh mm. wow! So you lost two. Uh, oh, no, yeah. That's your leader. So I only lost. I don't have a leader. Oh, that's right. So you just <laughs> lost two. So never mind then. Man, that's not good. Yeah, that did not anticipate that. So I got to roll two bad things. <laughs> Is that, I think that's what prominent leader means. Uh, that could be it for me. Two uh, lid. What I roll? Fours. Sec status two leader wounded on a two to a five is minus one. So that takes me to a three. Three. Ouch. Yeah. And then we fight again. And I lost one guy, and then Mogwa got knocked out. Yeah. So that's going to change your dice a little, isn't it? Yes, so it'll be minus two because uh, I was getting two for him. And then we have to fight again. So what do you have? We'll count them up. I have four times more dice than Andre, so I'm going to capture... Four times my one die? Or kill these guys. <laughs> so go ahead and pull your guys out, and then we're going to move up to the church and try to possibly start setting fire to it. Wiped out bad thing oh, for man. Andre. Oh man, I could go down to eight? Oh, possibly. Oh. <laughs> he might get down to eight. I'm down to three, which is going to mean I'm lose some dice. Would you roll a two? Yeah. Minus one. Okay, I'm down to eight. <laughs> I'm down to three. <laughs> but I am at the church, 
You Agua are. has made it to the church. Next card. Uh, ooh, two flags in a row. Sharp practice. Um, I think I better. Sharp practice uh, flank shot on some of the Magua here. Well, you're facing the wrong way. Remember, you can only shoot to your front. Yeah, I'm facing that way. What? When I... When I regroup back here, it was to shoot at Son of Magua over here. See how he's pointing that way? <laughs> Is he a guy pointing that way? Well, go ahead, go ahead. this Take guy got twisted out of line. Yeah. Take your shots. It's fine. Here we go. Tudor. Damn. Seven? Five shots. Five hits. Hardcover. Uh, one dead. Let's see if it's Mogwa. No Mogwa's. shock. <laughs> it was not Mogwa. Oh, Thankfully. that was all about the shock. It was. Okay, next card. And they're uh, they're going to reload, I suppose. Uh, no, that was a sharp practice. Oh, okay. Well, they can still come out. Their cards can still come out, right? Didn't it already? Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're pretty much done unless they get another sharp practice. <laughs> Montrose. Andre's going to have Montrose fire ahead. He's also going to have Sander Tyson fire from the barn. Even fours. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, the group in the open. The group next to them in the open. And then the group's on the end. So a dead on that end group, and then a shock each on the... Just one shock? Yeah, one shock each on the other two groups. Okay. Tyson's boys in the barn. One hit. Point of shock. Okay, I'm finally starting to feel some shock buildup after all this time. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good at keeping it off of those. You had, you had. Blue flag. Red flag. We haven't had a random get three? event yet. No. We have not had a random event yet this game. Simon Anderson. Anderson has just turned his cannon to face in the general direction of Smith and Wadsworth. He is loaded. Oh, can you turn a loaded cannon? Yeah. <laughs> How do you unload a loaded cannon? <laughs> you shoot it. <laughs> That's my cab. That'll take a shock off. Go ahead and pull another card. Blue four, Jeff Smith. So we're going to be down to two on the cab, and then Jeff Smith will go. Jeff Smith has moved to the wall. He's going to fire at Son of Magua, who's already up to what? Eight shock. <laughs> uh, two hits. So one more shock. So they're at nine with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they do have to take a, another morale test. So four plus, I drop another one. No, oh no, down to two. Uh, <laughs> wow. Are we gonna get the church burned so down? So does that push him back off the church? Uh, yeah, like an inch. Oh, that's right, yeah, he'll be off the church now because he went back one inch. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, boys! <laughs> Next card. Uh, two. You got a sharp practice. Uh, yeah, I haven't pulled the one yet, so I'm going to sharp practice my main line here. Okay. Tiffin! <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant, Sergeant uh, that's Tyson. my boys in, uh, in side the here. They've already fired, but you can pull a shock. I can pull two shock. Could but I'll just shot. pull one. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Save the flag. That's Wadsworth. Wadsworth has moved up 3d6 minus his six. Shot. So he's moved. Uh, he moved up there. Next you got a nice. Uh, you got nice out of cannon arc. Arc. And Ooh. the future. What do I have left? I still got my big man, so I could activate my formation again. I don't have anything. That's right, because you've lost Olivier's whole formation. So, I don't understand. You lost Olivier, a formation, and a level two leader, and you're down three. <laughs> <laughs> How does that happen? Uh, <laughs> what some badass roll. How did I get down to three? <laughs> or two? <laughs> or whatever I'm at. That's pretty wild. Okay, so I had two flags left, so I have 
The big man. Is Anderson gone? I don't think he is. Yeah, yeah he, he rotated. That's right. So what do I have left? So I got one, two, three. I need, I have four, four and five. Downs? Oh, downs. Downs could do something. Okay, so the big man and downs. Downs has moved up three inches. I'm going to fire at Wadsworth and reload. Uh, needing fives. Yeah, okay, well, that's about right. <laughs> and then uh, the big man is going to fire a volley. Big man will fire and reload. 11 shots, straight ahead. Wow. <laughs> One, two, three. After the tiffin has not been kind to me. Three it, hits. Uh, makes it a little more tricky. So, um, put them all on the guys in the open. Why do you get to pick? Because I can pick the guys in the open. Why couldn't I always pick the guys in the open on yours, yours then? Well, because it was even. You only got three hits. You got five groups. Oh, okay. Um, so we only these got guys, one group these guys, open. and yeah. Well, they're gonna be in soft cover. Both these guys would be in soft cover. Anyway, okay. So. so those two, and then one of these two. So here we go. Point of shock. Uh, Where are they at now? Two. Two. Nothing. Point of shock. Up to seven. So how many do they, you have total on the that formation now? Uh, how I many mean, do these guys have? Five and seven, so twelve. Okay, so you're not quite ready to fall back. Not quite. But right, we're so. really <laughs> thinking about it really hard. Think Sir, are we ready to fall back yet? <laughs> <laughs> these red coats are no joke, boys. Okay. <laughs> Anderson. Well, he's got nothing to shoot at. Wait a minute. Anderson and his men have moved the cannon up, and we're going to point it over at Tudor. Six, that's Wadsworth again, with his six shock. Woohoo! Doesn't seem like a great idea. Three shots. One what? hit. Point of shock. Okay, now I'm really starting to get built up here. What do they have? Five. Five, Five, four, and four two. two. Mm -hmm. But they've done their job. They've done really good this time. I'm, I'm happy with yep. the way that Hilton's men have worked tonight. That's Tyson. He's in the barn. Um, so he's a level one, so all I can do is... Fire or pull a shock. You could pull a shock and then activate him with uh, Montrose's guys. Or you could just fire. Right. Here we go with this shooting. Three shots. Two, two hits. hits. So, point of shock and nothing. So, put it on these guys here, I guess. Looks like we're going to have to start pulling some shocks in. <laughs> <sighs> two flags. Two flags. See, yeah, I got nothing. Sharp practice with the canister. <laughs> This can does not have sharp practice. <laughs> oh, darn. Sadly. Oh, oh, damn. That's not good for me. Yeah, I got some of Magua with eight shock, nine shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got whoever's in charge now that Son of Magua is down <laughs> with nine shock. Yeah, and then I'll have to do another volley with, with Elston's guys. Yeah. 11 shots, Elston uncontrolled, his men at least. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not better. Ah, Not better than that. Tougher. Okay, so we still got one, two, three, four groups. So who will we? We'll uh, we'll go like that. So sorry, Wadsworth. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Two shock. Ooh, we're up Two to shock on Sanders, guys. Four. Point of shock. And I think those guys are going to break, or not break, but involuntarily withdraw. Um, nothing. Oh. So they have how many shock now? Thirteen. No, I mean this group right here. Six. And you have six. Oh, you're still not not going to fall back because of your leader there. And then I have another flag left. Next turn. 
Uh, we pulled the flags out for me because of my force morale, so we move on. Jeff Smith with your uh, your two guys over there. Oh, the church. I forgot to mention with my last flag after the Tiffin last turn, I moved downs up. I tried to assault, didn't make it. So he's just over there now, but he is out of the way of the cannon. So. All right, Jeff so Smith. Two shots. Okay. Two hits. Magua. Uh, what is that? Two more two shock. shock. Oh man, so I'm going to have to do an involuntary withdrawal again. That's nothing. No bad thing. But I do withdraw a few inches probably or something. You're at 11. 11 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 3 inches. So they're being driven out of the church courtyard. They'll take Mogwa along with them. Okay. 11 shock. <laughs> I've got to the dreaded second <laughs> dial. <laughs> That's never a good sign. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. And red hey, that's Mogwa. He's knocked out. So I got to see if he gets up. So on a five, Mogwa gets up. Hell no. They never get up. Uh, that's Cox. He'll just pull, pull a shock. shock. Um, how many do I have? You're down to four after you pull the shock. No, I'll just use the flag to pull another one. I only have like two flags left anyway. Okay. So that'll get them down. And. Oh, Anderson. My cannon, who happens to be loaded and facing right at Tudor. Anderson is going to lay the cannon, lay the gun, and we're going to fire a canister shell at Elsden, which is going to bring me down to a three to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits, but you are in hard cover. But it is doubling shock. So I need some fives here. Okay. That's four shock and a dead. I'll take it. That's pretty good. So Anderson has redeemed himself a little bit. Let's put some fire down onto Tudor. Next card. <laughs> Your other flag. Oh yeah. That's Tudor. Tudor has come in, he's made it. Uh, even with all the shock, you got like two sixes and a four. He's going to charge Magua from the flank. So Tomahawks. So that's going to add two more shock to me. So you're up to 13. Wait, did, I guess the Tomahawks from the side double the shock? <laughs> I don't think so. Probably not. But. So I'm at 13. Okay, so I'm pretty much going to be at like two dice. And you're going to be at six, seven, eight, nine, minus two. two is seven so that is not nope, quite it's not quite so I, we do fight <laughs> <laughs> there's a chance so you're telling me there's a chance Mogwa. go ahead i got two. two okay this could be epic give me three got one okay so i lost two guys did you roll a six uh, i don't remember for sure i think he was hit but it's not Magwa, so roll yours. Not your guy either. Okay. Magwa will break by one, which is probably going to end the game. So bad thing happens for group breaks. <laughs> You've been I'm watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one. I'm down to one. I'm still in it. I can oh, still do this. Yeah. <laughs> We're still fighting. Oh, man. <laughs> and, All right. Uh, yeah, so you just lost a guy. Did you take a guy out? I did. And then you're at four shock. All right, next card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I got to go 2d6 plus 6 backwards. So I'll be going like 12 that way. Yeah, so I'm like over here. Okay. Somewhere facing hey, the wrong way with my dual shock counters and my wounded leader. All so right. you pull? And uh, so... Blue two. Okay. Two. Um, huh. So I could take a shot at Son of Magua out of the barn door? I guess. You're going to take a shot at Magua out of the barn door. Pow! Oh! Hit. Will this end the game? Uh, it's a point of a shock. shock. So do they break again? Uh, so they break do they again. break? No! Uh, it's two. I guess they would break. 
yeah, so, yeah, that takes me to zero. <laughs> so that'll be the end of the game. One shot out of the barn door. Yeah, and we'll come back and wrap it up. So we're back to wrap it up. Uh, the British have reached zero force morale. By our calculations, we could be wrong, but... Uh, <laughs> regardless, we've been playing for like four hours, so it's over. <laughs> no doubt there were uh, a multitude of errors, miscalculations, and I'm... Yeah, I was tired to begin with. Uh, it was a crazy game, though, man. It was... Uh, yeah, that... Andre was, at the beginning, he was, like, worried that, well, he's surrounded. He can't do anything without getting shot in the flank when, with this scenario because of where I put my secondary, which is sort of true. And I, I, I do think that you would have been, um, you know, I understand why you were focusing your cannon fire here. But if you'd have lined up um, on these guys, and I know you didn't because, well, they're, you know, skirmishers, I'll just move them and you're just moving the cannon. Right. But that would have, I think it really would have affected my firepower over here and given just enough boost to your line that that would have really... Probably broke your militia. I think it would have been the uh, game changer over here. Yeah, if you would have moved them out of the arc of them and I could have put everything onto these three groups, it would have been a lot better. And having the uh, cannon, you know, uh, pointed over into here making me juggle stuff or worry about that um, I think that really would have uh, benefited you more than focusing on that group in front of the church yeah he didn't do anything to them um, I think although you did make me shot. get out of the uh, uh, pull out of there which um, eventually did uh, wind up destroying the entire <laughs> section <laughs> twice which I can't believe you dropped three force morale when it Two groups were destroyed, and a level two leader routed off the table, and you went to, you dropped three force morale. Yep. How is that possible? Um, well, <laughs> nothing but ones. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, that. I was... dropped to like six off of losing. I don't even remember how I dropped that far. It. Uh, oh, it's lieutenant. Lieutenant. Dan. Lieutenant Dan. So one group of skirmishers with a level one dropped me almost twice as much as you losing a level two and two groups somehow. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, hero of the game for Andre, who I guess will have to be Tudor, right? He charged and took out, he uh, routed some of Mogwa, yeah, who was about um, to light fire at the church. I'm like... I don't know who else it would be. Well, I mean, he just kind of came and cleaned up at the end, but uh, um, actually, uh, well... Tyson? Act, well... <laughs> there were a bunch of guys that helped, you know, Lieutenant Dan just took it from all sides. I was pouring everything I yeah, had into Yeah, he ran him. up, he got a little aggressive and running He got aggressive, and I bit, which... And then, but then there was those two turns in a row where you got, like, all your flags, and I got hardly any. Yeah. And that, Lieutenant Dan never came out. And yeah. And it was just nothing but firing at Dan over and over, and yeah. yeah. The way the cards came out at, right at that time spelled the end for Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, um, so, yeah, there were a lot of kind of ups and downs. I mean, I could honestly nominate any of my units. Um, they all made key shots at key points in the game. Except for Olivier. <laughs> he didn't uh, do a lot. He, Olivier's guys didn't he lured your He lured Son of Magua into the church. <laughs> my hero would have to be either Magua or Elsden. I'd have to go with Elsden because Elsden's not broke. I would definitely go with Magua if he didn't break. Well, and but he did break. He did get uh, knocked out too, which he got knocked out, and he but he did take out two different groups in two different turns, and was at the church ready to start uh, ready. letting it ablaze. And Smith drove him off, and then it was after that it was game over. So I'll have to go with Elsden. He, yeah, uh, I was worried because he was in col uh, excuse me column on the road. He had everything pointing at him, and I thought, it's going to be tough going for Elson. But if I can get him up here and online, then I'm regulars against all these yeah. militia. I might stand a chance. And they did really good. Oh, I mean, they finally was, wound up accumulating some shock in the end. But they, Well, uh, it was my five against your three, and... And right now, really I'd say rolls. you're winning this battle. I was getting damn good rolls, and you were getting damn bad rolls on saves for over I, here, so... Yeah, I, I really uh, piled up 
a ton of shock. Um, but, you know, when you're in the open, uh, yep. going up against a three-group line, uh, you're going to take some shock. That's the power of the red coats, especially against militia. I'll put three groups of red coats against three groups of, or five groups of uh, militia anytime. Although, yeah. you had two light, or one skirmish and one light infantry, but still. Uh, yeah, so they did good. I'm proud of Elsden in this one. Anderson... He uh, had some bad rolls. He, he did get one good canister shot off. Didn't do quite enough. He did four, but Andre rolled like what, I, it was, 16. Yeah, I rolled a 16. <laughs> Two sixes and a four on his move. I'm thinking yeah. if he whiffs it, I might be okay, but he didn't. So no, Tudor took, came up and took out or drove Magua off. Yeah, that was just one of many lucky rolls. Or, well, a lot of times it came down to uh, the order the cards were coming out. And, uh, you know, there were opportunities where there were potential flank shots or flank assaults and the cards just, you know, didn't quite fall right. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, that was... Cards, I think, came out fairly even tonight. The only time I really felt the cards against me was when Dan was yeah hammered. Early, yeah, around, uh, what, three, four, early, four yeah. five, eight, yeah. It was early on, and uh, every two turns was, in a row is like seven cards of yours were coming out to mine. And yeah, like, hey, I was just looking golden there. I mean, I was Until really I sweating that you know two front, and you know the fact that you know, it looked like you were going to be getting a line up here, and it's like, well, okay, you can flank shoot my dudes over here, and these guys can flank shoot. You know, it's like crap. <laughs> um, you know, it's not like you really had to engage me. You could just sit back and, um, you know, if you could get that 24-inch range on me. Um, yeah. I was I was in a squeeze box, and I was really scared about that. But it would have required, you know, reorienting your cannon. And uh, I definitely see why you didn't do that. But uh, I was really sweating it when the cannon came out that you were going to point it at the skirmishers. Well, I was focused on the church. I was going for the objective. I wanted to clear that off, but uh, I did. I, I made it to the church briefly. You did. For one turn, I was touching the church, and that's something. I'm, well, I'm happy with that. You uh, you I, easily torched one I building. I did burn one. So according to the rules as written, I wrote them. <laughs> <laughs> I said if you got if I burned one building down, it was a minor victory. I don't know if I would keep it like that because it's so easy to get to it. I could have done that in the first turn, yeah. but I, I just chose not to because I didn't want to win the game in the first turn. So that's why I put Downs over here and like Mogul over here. But I thought, well, I'll, I'll always be able to fall back to the church or to this house and I'll burn it. Even no matter how many shock I get, even with one guy, I could come back here and, and burn the house down. So when you had uh, Lieutenant Dan up here, mm -hmm. you were mentioning that he wasn't your primary uh, torch unit. What did you mean by that? Well, I wasn't planning on... I didn't expect all these guys to appear way over here. I thought Lieutenant Dan was going to be able to come over here and take a position along this fence. Oh, and then you'd be able to... And then they were going to come up in one group. I was going to detach Cox and have him burn it down and send these guys like over here. Ah, okay. But all of a sudden, everything was up here, and that totally changed my whole plan. Because <laughs> I was going to try to get both of these at the same time. Uh, like I was going to get Cox up here to burn it down and I was going to have Downs come back and burn and I was going to have them both positioned and start trying to light at the same time while I my two groups and Magua and the cannon held everything off but you were very aggressive and you were up here super aggressive because of that uh, that exploring officer really helped you out this game yeah. without him oh you would have never made it to where you are now no that extra three inches doesn't sound like a lot it but is. it's huge, especially the way the fences were laid out and just really allowing me to be able to, you know, keep bringing units in and be, keep uh, Lieutenant Dan with the shock piled up. And that's not, I don't think that's a bad thing that we could do just for a free, uh, free thing for a defender. Like just let them deploy an extra three inches for free because they know the, this is their territory. At, yeah, and that would help spread everything out a little bit and give them a little bit more options for deployment So I don't see adding a just built-in plus three inch deployment For defenders, especially for the Americans if they I mean they live here This is where they grew up. You know, this is what they know I don't see why they couldn't just have that 
innate no, ability that, if they're defending. That makes sense. Um, but on the other side of that, historically attacking has been more difficult just because you're tra having to come in against somebody who's usually yeah. got the cover advantage. That's part of the that's part of the problem in this game. It's it's not as easy to give the attacker in Chain of Command it's easy, you just give more support and they buy tanks and artillery. Yeah. In this game you can buy a guy with a drum and a, you know a, a, a medic. Yeah. And a priest. <laughs> there's nothing offensive there's nothing that's gonna really boost your offensive firepower in the support options. Um, so just even doubling support isn't going to yeah. make it any well, super... Well, other than you can increase uh, your leaders, which is You can is, your leaders, which is, is a big huge. deal. Yeah, so you could. But That's true. It's, you know, it's still... Uh, it's, it's huge, but it's not uh, earth-shattering like being able to purchase another cannon or something. I think something. it's... If you're going to do a straight assault on a position, I think that it should come down. You would have less leaders. The defender would maybe have four leaders and the attacker would have six. Yeah. And more support. Yeah. Because even though I made it to the church, which I'm very surprised I even made it that far, I still didn't even begin lighting it on fire. <laughs> it just got driven off immediately. Well, as as I, I did there. get a... That was a fairly lucky uh, volley that uh, put all that shock on uh, Son of Magua. Yeah. Uh, if I hadn't have gotten that, you know, a really good shock shot there, none of that would have mattered. Right. If you'd have had him up there with, you know, four shock. Um, oh. I would yeah. have been light and fire, baby. <laughs> and <laughs> there wouldn't have been nothing I could have done about it. No, because Downs is going to come around. Downs and Anderson were going to take care of Tudor. And I was going to leave Magua only facing a couple of guys to... But it didn't work out well, that way. Actually, it came down to Magua got driven off by two shots and one shot. I mean, right. the, I had no firepower left, but <laughs> he was just so over Didn't the top much. already that... On the uh, second dial, 13, 14 shocks. So. Anyway, yeah, so it was a great game. Uh, we always have fun with Sharp Practice. It's my favorite game that we play. I wish we could just play Sharp Practice every week. Well, and especially when it's so back and forth. I mean... I honestly thought you were going to win this at at least three different points during the, the evening, and I was, I was definitely surprised when I got the lucky, the last lucky hit at the end. So that's several, what is that, three games in a row for you now? You beat Robert last week, I think the week before that. Didn't you beat me? Wow. And something? Um, it would Can't definitely be a long. turnaround because uh, it seemed <laughs> like, like I was just ago. I no on idea. a... Uh, you were on a losing streak. I was on a... Well, it was... A lot of it was self-inflicted. I remember that, too. <laughs> yeah. I was making a lot of mistakes and I think trying to get down about it. I know you won two in it. a row. You might have won three in a row. Um, no, I know what it was. Yeah, because you beat Robert at Erewhon. Yeah. When you were the Romans against the Undead. Then you yep. beat him last week in Chain of Command. Oh. Then you just beat me now. I was going to say, I, it's been a while since I've beaten you. It's three... Yeah, so that's but, so uh, three... Yeah. I'll take it, even if it is a. Uh, this was a coin flip win, but yeah, uh, not according to the force morale. It wasn't. <laughs> You're still at eight. Uh, yeah, but I'm at zero. Yeah, I mean, look at my effective firepower. Uh, oh, you definitely diminished, but you. I'm not. You got me to zero. That's what matters. Yeah. Well, these guys are on the verge of. Uh, they're one away from breaking. They're one away from breaking. Not they're breaking. one away from breaking. Not breaking. Falling back. Falling back. Falling yeah. back. Yeah. Which Two is... away from falling back. Um, but yeah, I mean, literally four of my five units were, you know, one uh, shock away from falling back. Yep. Um, that's a, close. You get, it's a close game. That was, it doesn't really get any closer. You know, I yep. said it a couple of times. This could have gone either way with just a couple very minor, Better you rolls, know, the right card, cards. the right roll. Right. Yeah, it was a great game. So uh, thanks, Andre, for coming over. And uh, again, thanks to all, all the people who voted for us in the uh, Caesar Awards. If you guys haven't voted for us in the uh, finals, go do that or vote for whoever you want. But I prefer you vote for us. Vote early, <laughs> vote often. Yeah, I think you can vote as many times as you want. So <laughs> you want to take the day off and just vote for us over and over again all day? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a fun game. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Check out our uh, Facebook group. Check out our Patreon page. Uh, that's 
the patrons have really been the ones who've made everything possible that we've done. We've got this new banner here. I haven't showed that to you guys yet. But I'm going to get another one of these soon with our other emblem on it. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep improving and keep expanding and just make everything better. And uh, we're having fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And thanks for uh, supporting us. And we'll see you all next time. Thank you.